Hello everyone, for this video I'm going to show you how to travel over to City Walk from Universal's Cabana Bay using the water taxi transportation. So I'm just outside Cabana Bay, going to head over to the water taxi over in Sapphire Falls. Just need to get over Adventure Way without dying. Probably, uh, probably need a disclaimer to say, <clears throat> excuse me, not the most sensible and safest way to get over to City Walk. I certainly wouldn't do it with children. So as you've probably figured out, Cabana Bay is not on the water taxi system. But if you are staying on site, you can use it. The service is run pretty early in the morning. I believe it's two hours before official opening or one hour before early park admission. So that's pretty cool. It's also completely free. Just approaching the Aventura Resort now, which is the other prime value resort. So the Aventura has a luxury skyscraper theming, if you can call that theming. That's one of the main criticisms. But I do personally prefer Cabana Bay. Aventura does have some advantages over Cabana Bay. So it's got a cool rooftop bar there at the top. It's closer to City Walk and obviously closer to the water taxi. The rooms are smaller but more modern, much better dining options. I believe there's uh, virtual reality headsets in the arcade room. So once you've gone past Aventura, it's pretty much impossible to miss Sapphire Falls. So Sapphire Falls Resort is in the mid-tier category of resorts. Uh, Universal calls that the preferred category. It's got a Caribbean theme with a blue and white exterior. This is a notable upgrade from Cabana Bay in my opinion. The amenities are comparable to the three premier resorts, one of which is next door. The suites are quite a bit more expensive compared to Cabana Bay though. I hate to say it but it is giving me Olive Garden vibes. Here we are inside Sapphire Falls, got a fun balloon sculpture at the front. Like I said, amenities here at Sapphire Falls are better, they've got some table service options as well. Very classy looking lobby, although I will say um, the hallways are a bit dull in comparison, they don't, doesn't quite match the, the theme of the lobby and the pool area etc. just the one pool at Sapphire Falls. It is a lot smaller than Cabana Bay, but yeah, I think it's a um, more luxurious looking pool, I would say. This stairway certainly isn't dull. Kind of reminds me of the, um, the DVC wing of Wilderness Lodge. on your left there is the Amitasta cookhouse. I believe it's a buffet in the morning and then in the evening it serves table service options. We've almost arrived at our transportation destination. So this is the walkway over to the water taxi and you'll do security here instead of at City Walk. the centerpiece waterfall there. Stunning resort. That was extremely quick and smooth. Don't think I'm going to be able to get out the front, which I'm a bit salty about. There we can see Dr. Doom's fear fall up there. So we should be departing for City Walk very shortly. So as mentioned in my Cabana Bay Resort Tour. The theory is that using the water taxi will be quicker than the garden walk or the shuttle buses because it means you don't have to do security in the mornings when it's quite busy around City Walk. Not 100% convinced it is quicker but either way it's just a really nice way of travelling over there. It 
as we come through the first bridge we can see the exotic island themed Royal Pacific Resort which is the least expensive of Universal's premier resorts sort of Universal's answer to Disney's Polynesian Village huge swimming pool complex over there but no water slide So we can see the Pharos lighthouse up ahead there from Islands of Adventure port of entry. Let's let you know that you've reached the centre of Universal Orlando. theme park on the river this steam excuse me steampunk looking factory is the toothsome chocolate emporium table service restaurant it leans quite heavily on the theming but I do recommend it and then we have the hard rock cafe table service restaurant not to be confused with the hard rock hotel resort premier resort which is past Universal Studios on the river can just see parts of it in the distance. Now we've got a better look of the iconic spinning globe and the entrance archway at the front of Universal Studios Florida. We'll be very shortly disembarking on the restaurant side of City Walk. You can just see Vivo there, which tops my list of best restaurants in City Walk. So in between the hard rock restaurant and the entrance to Universal Studios you can see the Rip Ride Rocket roller coaster which lets you pick your own music as you ride. So that concludes my journey from Cabana Bay over to City Walk. Thank you for watching. Do check out my other Cabana Bay vlogs and other hotel tours. For example, my tour of the two endless summer resorts. And if you're interested in future Orlando vlogs, don't forget to subscribe.